All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahu Shai, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, I just wanted to shed some uh, light on this uh, on this matter, this, uh, I guess one could say, debate. Um, you know, that's been going on in Israel lately, man. Okay, besides the whole, you know, marriageable age topic, and you know, the, uh, uh, the topic of, you know, of, uh, of R, A, uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna say it, I'm not even gonna say it, we'll just say the, um, you know, topic of Deuteronomy 22 and, you know, 25 to 28, gotta watch what I say, because YouTube, you know, Hey, YouTube is, you know, going crazy now, man. If you say, you know, one slip up in your video, you'll get your video taken down for hate speech. So you got to watch what you say, man. Okay. Just take that as a word of advice for any of you out there who do your own content. Take that word of, uh, as advice. All right. But, you know, uh, another topic that, which is the topic that we're watching, or I should, I should say, we're speaking about would be a correct word to use. Um, the topic that we are going to be speaking about today is uh, the topic of, um, you know, can a man have more than one wife? Which I watched the uh, debate, the, the multiple debates between, uh, you know, certain Israelite groups. Say, for example, Sakari. Um, I believe the one person they battled on it, I believe his name was Black Jesus Minister or something like that. I could be mistaken. Uh, you can look that up yourself and see. Um but they had a few videos on it where the deacon and, you know, uh, gorilla, they had a few debates with, you know, Christians and you know, other Israelites who teach that a man can only have one wife. Um, and, of course, we're on the side that a man can have more than one wife according to the Bible. Okay, the Bible teaches that a man can, uh, you know, have more than uh, one wife. Now I'm going to say this. You know, the Bible says that, however, you know, we're not saying to go out and do that now. If somebody does do that, that's not wrong because the scriptures say you can. So you can't say, that. say for example, somebody kills a homosexual. The Bible says that you can do that. It says that. However, can they now turn around and say that I told them to do that? No, because I never said to do that. However, we simply acknowledged that the holy text clearly speak that, uh, that a man can do that. Okay. Um, however... You know, the, uh, the point of the matter is that the Holy Text says that you can, you know, kill a homosexual. But, you know, we're not going to go out and do that now because um, if you do, well, there's a good chance that you're going to go to jail, man. All right. But anyway, you know, dealing with multiple wives here in America, they don't let you get multiple women. Even, hey, look at what happened to, uh, what's that cat? Look what happened to, uh, to R. Kelly, man. Look what happened to R. Kelly. Right, the two women he was with, you know, they deliberately wanted to be in a, I guess we could say polygamous uh, relationship with the man, as in both the woman agreed to be in a relationship with the man at the same time, which is, you know, astounding that two women agreed to that in this day and age, because, uh, you know, I mean, that's rare to, you know, find a woman like that who will allow her man, well, I shouldn't say allow, because a man is above a woman. The point of the matter is here in America, women are given the, you know, the liberty over a man. Okay, so, you know, the woman, that's why you have to, you know, ask the woman, you know, will you, you know, will you marry me? No, no, nah, it wasn't like that before. Okay, the man could go to the woman's father and, you know, uh, she would be, um, she could be married against her will or she could have a choice if her father allowed her to. Okay. Women did not really have a choice on who they married throughout history. And that's in the Bible. That's just an American custom. Okay, but you know, that's, that's not what this video is about. Um, this is the topic of can a man have more than one wife? Okay, and, and again, we defend that a man can according to the Bible. And anybody who says otherwise does not know what they're talking about. Okay, anyway, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 15. If a man have two wives... One beloved and the other hated. They have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. If the firstborn son be, be hers that was hated. Let's read it. Then it shall be when he, he maketh his sons to inherit that which he have, 
that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But the point of the matter is, you know, after saying that a man, you know, if he has two wives and, you know, he doesn't like one of the wives but likes the other, he cannot, you know, put the one child above the other child. The firstborn gets the inheritance. Okay, but the point of the matter, the point of the matter, then the main reason I went here was look at what it says here. Deuteronomy 21, verse 15. If a man have two wives, read that again. If a man has two wives, why is, why is Moses not condemning this man for having two wives? I thought a man could only have one wife. So you see, guys don't want to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about that. And it says if a man has two wives, and then you know it goes on. It doesn't say, Moses doesn't say, well, this man went off and is sinning for having two wives. It does not say that. Now, somebody's going to be slick. Somebody's going to be slick and say this. Let's go here. Let's go to the book of uh, First Kings. We'll deal with um, King Solomon. Uh, let me see real quick. Right now, this is where it gets a little tricky because you know the guys will be um guys will be very slick, man. Okay, guys are gonna be very slick. However, they're clearly wrong. Okay, I'm gonna read it and then I can explain it. Uh, this is the book of First Kings, chapter eleven, and verse three. It says, and he had made, he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. Now, somebody's going to stop there and say, well, see, having multiple women is a sin because it, King Solomon went off for having multiple women. That is not true. I'm going to show you this. He did not go off for having those extra women. Okay, that was not his sin. Okay, you know what his sin was? Go down here. It says, for it came to pass when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect before the Lord, as with the heart of David his father. But the point of the matter is, um, David, or I mean, you know, uh, King Solomon, he had 700 wives. Okay, was he wicked for doing that? No. Right, the Lord told him, you know, hey, you know, if you want more, I'll give you I'll give you more of what you have. Okay, if you still were not pleased with it. But the point of the matter is King Solomon had seven hundred wives. Was he a sinner for having that many women? The answer is no. Okay, now you know King Solomon uh King Solomon went off, but it was not because of the women themselves, it's because he followed after the gods of those uh women. Okay, because those women were of the other, you know, heathen nations. Okay, we'll read it again. Uh, First Kings chapter 11, verse 3. And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after their gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as with the heart of his father David. Okay, but the point of the matter is David's sin was not the woman that he had, not 700 wives, it's not the sin. His sin that he followed, uh, I should say, the sin that he had was he followed the gods of the other nations, okay? His wives perverted his heart to follow after the other nations, but the women themselves were not the sin, okay? It was not a sin to have that many wives, okay? It was perfectly lawful in the eyes of the Most High. And if the Most High was okay with it back then, he's okay with it today because the Lord doesn't change, man. What is that? Uh, Hebrews, I believe it's 13 and 8. I, the Lord, the same last, yesterday, today, and forever. Right? The Lord doesn't change, man. Okay? The Lord, you know, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, is the same, you know, tomorrow, you know, today, and, um, and yesterday, man. Okay, there was never a time where there was a change where, you know, yeah, this action is okay today. But tomorrow and now does not become okay anymore. It's not in the holy book, man. Okay, you know, these guys are just, you know, taken away from what the holy prophecies and, you know, what the holy texts say themselves, man. Okay, it's lawful for a man to have multiple women.
Okay, now, I should say, you know, as I said, we're not saying to go out and do that today. If you do and you get in trouble, that's on you. Okay, however, the Bible says that a man can do it. Okay, the Bible says that a man can do that and just, and, you know, logic and common sense. You know, um, there's more women in the world than, uh, you know, than men. So if every man was supposed to have, you know, one, you know, wife and every woman, one man, where some women are not going to be able to get a man then. So, you know, um, clearly it just proves the point, man, right? That men are polygamous by nature and that's just the way it's supposed to be, man. Okay, this American BS, you know, is all going to be done away with, man. Okay, because the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to turn on America, man. He's going to have the, you know, the beast, which is what? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, you know, come against America, man, according to prophecy. And, you know, take this place out of power. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video off with this. You know, to you guys out there, you know, are saying that, you know, a brother cannot have more than one wife. Well, you're clearly a false teacher. And you're in violation of the scriptures. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that hears the words of, of this, of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall take away, there's lucky shit. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Right, but the point of the matter is these guys are clearly taken away from the book, man. Okay, so you cats better check yourself, man. Okay, so, you know, it is okay, according to the Bible, to have more than one wife. All right, anybody who disagrees does not know what they're talking about. Okay, uh, anyway, of that being said, I'm going to say shalom.